So, you hungry, but not quite ready to eat a three-course meal just yet? How about some instant noodles instead? Ah, the water's boiled, your tummy's rumbling, but there's a problem. The styrofoam cup's broken and the noodles are exposed. Wait, is that a space at the bottom of the cup? Why? That space is for protecting the noodles. It's not the company trying to save money or anything. Notice how the ramen in cups is hardly ever broken, but the one in the packet comes out looking like a mess? This technique is called a middle suspension. The noodles are packed in tightly to stop them from getting crushed in the delivery truck. It's not just about the noodles looking nice and long. It also helps those tasty noodles soften more easily. Now, morning breath isn't the best. Luckily, there's an easy way to get rid of it. Yeah, it would have been easy to think that mouthwash was invented for, you know, washing your mouth. Well, mouthwash was originally invented and sold as a floor cleaner. It was sold to hospitals as an antiseptic for years. It never really took off. Some genius in marketing rebranded it as a mouthwash, and the rest is minty fresh history. So, after you've cleaned your teeth, just remember, rebranding can be pretty powerful. It's hard to imagine a world without the internet these days. No streaming, no online games, or pictures of cute little kitties. Yeah, that's not what it was designed for, but who cares, right? The prototype internet was called ARPANET, or the Advanced Research Projects Agency Network. This machine was very sensitive. To stop anyone from turning it off, some clever scientists stuck a piece of paper on it with these powerful words. This machine is a server. Do not power it down. It was written in red ink. Hey, nice touch! Having your professor scribbling in the margins of your notebook isn't exactly new. Except that margins weren't designed for that. They're rat protection. Back in the day, rats would nibble on paper all the time. So if you wrote something on the edge of the paper, it ended up inside a hungry rat. A couple of well-placed lines stopped your best answers from getting eaten. Hey, I can't finish this pizza. Time to cover up those leftovers. Luckily, I have plenty of plastic wrap. A little tug, and the roll just jumped out. Prison break! If you look at the wrap's home, the long, thin box, there's a special little feature that can help you. A cardboard tab on each end. Push them in, and the roll's not going anywhere. Strange that I've never seen them before. It's lunchtime! I'm feeling like a California roll today. Seaweed, rice, cucumber, avocado, and crab meat. Or is it? It's actually imitation crab meat. It's basically cheap white fish blended with sugar. The fish mixture is then heated and pressed into shape. Mmm, yummy! That's maybe why it's called the hot dog of the sea. Nah, I just made that up. Your microwave has a secret we've all seen but never paid attention to. That black mesh you see on the door is a Faraday cage. It stops the electromagnetic energy, or the microwaves, from escaping. And cooking you, too. (laughs) That's how it heats up your food so quickly. Every microwave has to have one, and they all vary in quality. This Faraday cage can even stop signals from your phone, which I guess is useful. Hey, you don't need your popcorn to stop popping in order to take a call, do you? Airplane mode's a bit easier, though. Ever taken an IQ test and realized you're Einstein-level smart? Me, neither. The median IQ is only 100. Plus, there's very little evidence that Einstein ever even took the test. In the beginning, most people thought the tests were too vague to be helpful in any way. The test was designed for children who needed help with their studies. Later, they realized it could be adapted to identify intelligence. But it was never originally designed for that. Hey, never pop bubble wrap, you're missing out. And you guessed it, it was never meant to be popped or used in the way we use it today. It was invented as a new textured wallpaper. By sealing two shower curtains together, they created the first bubbles. The idea never really took off, obviously. After failing as wallpaper, it discovered its true meaning in life. It could protect sensitive items. When the first computers were being shipped, bubble wrap was there to help. Imagine a house with bubble wrap wallpaper in every room. Best or worst thing ever? Hey, leave me a comment below. If you own one of the biggest companies in the world, selling one of the most known products on the planet, 
How would you keep your company's secret a secret? The formula for Coca-Cola isn't patented. The first recipe was, but when they made changes, no patent ever went through. The secret formula is still only known by a few people at the company. Not only that, but not even Coca-Cola's rival wants the recipe. In 2006, a disgruntled employee tried to sell off the secret, but it didn't work. Hey, take a look at your brand new mattress. Do you see the do not remove under penalty of law tag? Wow, that thing looks pretty serious. Good news though, the tags aren't meant for you. They're aimed at the mattress seller. A hundred years ago, mattress makers used to create the filling with basically anything. Animal hair, old hospital beds, or clothing. Then strict laws stopped old hospital beds from being used. Their mattresses were filled with germs. Now, on a rainy day, Play-Doh is something everyone can make at home. Mash up some flour, water, salt, food coloring, and wham! Any creative person is amused for hours. Cheap, clean, non-toxic, the perfect modeling clay. But it was never made for that. This stuff was originally for cleaning up walls in the 1930s. That's because people started going crazy for wallpaper, which you couldn't use soap and water on. Eventually, Play-Doh had to find a new home. Now, have you ever finished a lollipop and noticed a hole in the stick? This hole isn't just for show or to make a musical instrument with after you're done. It's there to keep that tasty sweet treat from falling off. While the candy's still hot, it's poured into a mold. As it hardens, the candy flows into the hole and creates an anchor. Oh, not into lollipops? How about good old American gummy bears? Unfortunately, they aren't American at all. They're German. A German company started making them in 1922. The original name was uh, Gummy something something. Anyway, they got the inspiration from real dancing bears at live shows. These treats eventually made it all the way around the world. Hey, ever wondered what those little bumps were for on the F and J keys on your keyboard? These little raised ridges are to help your index fingers be in the best possible spot for lightning-fast typing. Keeping those fingers on F and J, it makes it way easier to reach all the keys, especially if you don't look at the keyboard. Now, everybody loves a slinky. If you've ever watched one of them strut down the stairs with groovy music in the background, congrats, you're definitely a YouTube fan. People of all ages loved it when it came out, which is crazy because it was never meant to be a toy at all. It's a spring. It was originally designed to stabilize sensitive nautical devices on ships. Nothing fun about that at all. Until that amazing day when one of them fell off a table and danced its way into our hearts. After many experiments, the new and improved Slinky was born. Give that team of scientists a medal. Sandwich bread is not entirely real bread. Water can boil and freeze at the same time. Bananas are berries that grow in grass. Believe these or not, but let me ask you, did you know water can be wetter than it is in nature? Find out in this video. Bubble gum is usually pink because the first commercial gum made in 1928 was like that. Pink simply was the only color of the food dye available at the factory. The first chewing gum ever, though, probably appeared about 9,000 years back. People chewed birch bark tar back then for its medicinal properties, for example, to fight fever. In fact, at different periods, people used to chew on lots of stuff. For instance, the ancient Mayans made gum out of chicle, a substance made from the sapodilla tree sap. They used it to fight hunger and quench thirst. And in North America, people chewed spruce tree resin a habit which European settlers later picked up and turned into a commercial thing in the 1840s. You can't name a folder C-O-N on any version of Windows. This also applies to some other letter combinations, such as P-R-N, A-U-X, N-U-L, and others. It has to do with the operating system itself. It creates folders to store data in them. And if you create one of your own using one of these names, it will confuse the system. If you shuffle a deck of cards to get every possible combination, you'll spend billions upon billions upon billions of years just to get a third of the way there. Think about it. There are 52 cards in a regular deck. And the possible number of combinations without repeating is 8 times 10 raised to the power of 67. 
even if you shuffled the cards 100 times per second without repeating combinations, it will take you several hundreds of trillions of the times the universe has existed so far. Folding a simple sheet of paper 103 times will get you a stack 93 billion light years thick, which is more than the size of the observable universe. But if you decide to check this on your own, you won't be able to fold it more than 12 times. And that would require a really big sheet of paper too, as in almost a mile long. With a regular printing paper sheet, it would be even less, seven times. In many supermarkets, you'll see two different bread sections, bread and bakery, and they do have different types of bread in them. The lighter, square, and most often cut in advance variety is called white pan bread or sandwich bread, while the other is, well, just bread. The difference is that sandwich bread is made specifically to have stuff spread on it. It has a tougher texture which allows the slice to not fall apart and go all crumbly when you put, say, peanut butter on it. It's also soft enough, letting you bite into your sandwich and not squeeze the contents out of the sides, turning your meal into a mighty mess. Finally, white pan bread lasts longer than regular bread because of the additives in it. They preserve the bread's texture for a week or so in your home, allowing you to enjoy your PB&Js for longer, while the traditional bread variety would likely go stale the next day. There's a state at which water can both be boiling and freezing. It's called a triple point, and it occurs when all three states of a substance, liquid, solid, and vapor, exist at all the same time without messing with each other. For water, the triple point happens just a tiny bit over the freezing temperature and at an atmospheric pressure of 0.006 atmospheres. The blue bird you see on the Twitter logo has an official name. It's Larry the Bird and the creator of the social network named it after the former NBA basketball player Larry Bird from the Boston Celtics. If you've decided to save a few bucks by charging your smartphone less often, let me disappoint you. To charge a cell phone, you use teeny amounts of electricity. That's why the maximum amount of money you can save within a year is less than one dollar. Jeep is actually an abbreviation. Originally, it was called a GP or a general purpose vehicle. It was only much later that it became a brand we know today. Bananas have a curved shape because they turn towards the sun. They're also not trees, but grass, by the way. The bunches grow downwards, but the fruit itself wants to get towards the sun. So it curves a bit up while it grows. Spandex, a fiber used for making sports clothing, got its name as an anagram of the word expands. If you were to watch every video on YouTube, you'd have to spend 1,000 years on that, and then about 1,000 times more because of all the new videos that would appear by then. You probably know that tomatoes are technically berries. Well, bananas, peppers, watermelons, and eggplants are too. There's a little open jar symbol on every cosmetics item packaging. It's called PAO, period after opening and it tells you how long you can safely use the product after opening it. The jar is usually accompanied by a number with the letter M, which stands for months. Just make sure you remember exactly when you open the package so that you'll know when three, six, nine, or however many months indicated have passed. A phone jack often has several rings on it, each representing different components. One ring is for mono sound, two are for stereo, and the third one means your earphones have a microphone function built in. To know if an egg you boiled is fully cooked, just spin it on the countertop. If the egg spins steadily without immediately falling over, it's done. Instead of using good old water, firefighters extinguish fires with wet water. They add special wetting agents to it, chemicals that reduce the surface tension that regular water has. It helps the substance to soak into objects and spread everywhere much more easily. Your shower curtain sometimes gets a bit too clingy when you get into the shower trying to get clean. According to the shower curtain effect, the hot water lowers the air pressure behind the curtain. The higher, denser pressure outside the shower pushes the curtain in, making you feel like your shower curtain is out to get you. If you take a closer look at the regular garbage bag, 
you'll probably notice that the seam is inside out. In fact, you're not supposed to shake up the bag to open it. You gotta place the bag over a garbage can like a hat, and then just push the middle of the bag down into the can. This way, the seam will end up where it should be, inside. There's a tricky anti-rodent disc to make sure no rat is aboard. Rats usually get on a boat via mooring chains, so this disc fits onto them, and no rodent can go on a voyage. Jewelry is often sold in small pouches. They actually have a hidden purpose. They help prevent tarnish. Most retailers assure that the ring or whatsoever was sold is safe and secure. In most supermarkets, oranges usually come in mesh bags. Well, those bags don't really have any hidden purpose, but you can turn it into a great scrubbing tool. Just tie it up and see how it works next time you have an extra greasy frying pan. You don't need to scoop the jam out of a double yogurt container section. This type of plastic is quite flexible, so you just need to fold it in half and pour the jam directly into the yogurt section. The hidden function of a cup plunger is actually that it was meant to be used for sinks. Yeah, it works for toilets too, but you can keep an extra one to unclog the sink in case you need it. An extra hole at the upper part of the sink has multiple hidden functions. First, in case someone forgets to close the tap, the water won't overflow, and the bathroom won't get flooded. Second, thanks to that hole, the water drains faster, as it gives an escape for the air helping the water flow down. Most metallic zippers have a hidden lock inside them to save them from awkward situations, such as an undone fly. Don't leave the zipper handle in an upward position. When you pull it downwards, it automatically locks. It's all thanks to those tiny grooves hidden underneath the handle. Bath foam isn't only for fun or a nice smell. It also helps regulate the temperature. The bubbles keep the water hot, so you can enjoy a bath a bit longer. Anyway, it works for acrylic bathtubs only. Those made of metal lose heat really fast either way. Escalator brushes aren't for keeping your shoes clean and polished. It might be tough to apply wax right on that brush while the escalator's moving. It's for our safety. Brushes won't let you come close to the edge, so a long coat or boot-cut jeans won't end up in between the steps. Originally, golf balls were smooth. They have a dimpled surface now because players noticed that overused balls with damages flew better than brand new ones. At some point, manufacturers started producing balls with dimples. If you take a box of aluminum foil, you'll see tabs you can press on the side. They keep the foil straight and prevent it from rolling. It's also easier to tear off some amount of foil thanks to those tabs. Jerry cans have three handles for a reason. It's a smart designer move, so when you carry it alone, you use only the central handle to distribute the weight evenly. But your friend wants to help you out. Each of you grabs the side handle. Two flat prongs you can see on standard plugs used in North and Central America make sense. But how about those holes near the tips? Thanks to them, the outlet firmly grips the plug so that it won't loosen or fall out of the socket. It's sometimes irritating when you haven't used the entire stick of deodorant. There's a little bit more left, but it's hard to reach it. Okay, the trick is easy. Unscrew the bottom, take a pencil, and force it underneath that moving platform. That way, you'll push what's left of the deodorant out. There's a number put on the side of many cosmetic products. It isn't picked randomly. It tells you how long your product will last after you've opened it. This is why it has an open jar for a graphic symbol. A lint roller is good at removing those tiny fibers, but you can also use it to clean other stuff. For example, when you want to remove the dirt from the utensil tray in your dishwasher, simply take your sticky lint roller and put it into each compartment, and all the crumbs, dirt, and leftovers are all gone. Kings depicted on playing cards are real historical characters. Spades, King David. Clubs, Alexander the Great. Hearts, Charles the Great. Diamonds, Julius Caesar. Rings used to be more than a stylish accessory. The nobility used rings as a seal. Archers wore rings to protect their fingers from bowstring injuries, while needlewomen from needle pricks. Detachable headrests in cars are all about safety. If you pull it out of a seat, you'll see two pretty sturdy bars. If you ever get locked or trapped in a car, you can get out of there smashing the window with these bars. A little arrow next to the refueling indicator on the car's dashboard indicates which side of the vehicle has fuel tank openings. It's useful when you need to refuel a rented car. You are probably using shampoo wrong all the time. 
Well, the main thing you should know is that you don't apply it directly on your hair. You gotta apply it onto the roots only. The foam that you make is enough to clean your hair. A button on the reverse side of a shirt collar is needed to hold a tie in place. Anyway, this button was designed for slim ties that are not that popular today, so this button is only an element of design. A cotton pads pack has those strings on it to hang it on some hook or holder. There's no need to untighten and tighten the pack again. Look at the bottom, it has a perforated line. Tear along it and just pull out a cotton pad from a hanging pack. It's a myth that the red side of the eraser is for pencil and the blue one is for ink. The blue gets rid of mistakes on thicker types of paper only. It works both for pencil and even ink, but make sure the paper is really thick. But that blue little thing can do so much more. It can polish your jewelry, clean your electronics, for example, the screen of your cell phone. You know those irritating sticker residues that won't peel off? Eraser helps there too. Same as with cleaning scuffed up suede or dirt you have on your walls. We you use doorknobs every day, so it's right to be concerned about how many germs could be on them. However, they have made doorknobs out of brass partly for that reason. Brass provides an antimicrobial effect, eliminating the microorganisms that were hoping to start a colony on your doorknob. Your pants have that one-fifth pocket that's recognized as the small useless one. Originally, it was there to provide a safe place for your pocket watch, something that was necessary when first implemented in 1901. It then continued to remain for traditional purposes. However, it's still a great place to put your tic-tacs. You've probably mistaken those little rivets on your jeans as some form of fashion statement, similar to the small pocket. In fact, they're incredibly important. They are there to provide extra support for areas that withstand the most strenuous parts of your clothing, preventing them from embarrassingly falling apart. That little button at the end of your seatbelt seems like it's way out of place. In fact, it's there to ensure your buckle will always remain at the end, so you won't have to awkwardly fiddle with your seatbelt every time you put it on. You're in a new car or a rental, and the gauge tells you the gas is getting low. You don't know which side the fuel cap is on from the inside. It can cause unnecessary effort at the gas station. However, your fuel gauge has an arrow that reminds you which side to fill your gas tank up from. Some models of cars may also have a gas tank hose instead, with the hose pictured on the side that the cap is on. Hiking and walking through snow requires the best kind of footwear. The shoes which are perfect for this also have an extra eyelet for your lace to loop through. Looping your laces through the extra eyelets will give more support for your ankles and feet and will provide more stability as you walk. But as you walk, blisters are also a concern. The sweat in your shoe creates friction between the feet and the shoe, which then helps create the blisters. Antiperspirant that you use for your armpits will help keep the feet from sweating. Just make sure you use the clear one. Cooking for people is always nice. However, sometimes the guests are late. Yep, we're all guilty of that sometimes, right? The extra drawer under your oven where you've been keeping all of your spare pots and pans was actually made to keep your food warm. Great for those who are late to the meal. Ever wondered how long that padlock could possibly last when it's outside, in the rainy weather, keeping your bike safe? It has a little hole at the bottom of it. It's there to drain water to avoid corrosion on the inside. It also serves to provide oil, further prolonging its use. That hole in the elevator door isn't there to check who's inside so you can avoid sharing a ride with specific people. It's a keyhole in case it breaks down. Ketchup, sauce bottles, and all other condiments we love all have a stage when it's difficult to get the insides out. You try hitting it, shaking it, and poking things inside to encourage the tasty condiments to come out. Luckily, there is an easier way to do it. The label at the top suggests where to tap the bottle. The sauce will come out easier and smoother, allowing gravity to take the place of frustration. The purpose of wooden coat hangers is to help repel pesky insects and avoid fungal growth that eats away at your clothing as it's made of cedar wood. It contains oils that have insecticidal and fungicidal properties and were used as far back as the ancient Egyptians, although they used it for other purposes. 
We've all been trained and tested at the art of typing and know the correct way to use a keyboard. But you may not have noticed that the F and J keys have a small ridge at the bottom. They're there to help you find your correct starting place with your fingers on the keyboard without having to look down. If you've been lucky enough to get the window seat on the plane, you would have noticed that little hole at the bottom of the window. It helps with the air pressure on the plane. The window itself is made from acrylic and isn't actually glass, which saves it from fogging up so you can see the scenery on your journey. Many pairs of kitchen scissors today have a serrated opening where the handles and blades meet. You can use this as an herb stripper to destem difficult herbs like thyme, rosemary, and chives. Saves you a lot of time trying to pick the leaves off by hand. And if you're short of a vase, you could present roses to your significant other this way. Just be careful when you're pointing the sharp end. The metal tab on soda cans can be flipped around. You can slip a straw in place so you don't have to hold it up to your mouth. This stay-on tab replaced the pull ring tab created in the early 60s. You uh, remember those, don't you? Those could be quite sharp and easily discarded where they could be a menace for others. Now you can pop your straw straight into one. Also means you can produce some bubbles and make a mess. Sometimes when you purchase an article of clothing, you receive a plastic baggie with an extra button and a swash of fabric. While the fabric is clearly used to patch holes, it can also be used to test the effects of various cleaners on certain surfaces. It's handy, too, to test wash cycles before using them to wash the whole garment. And if you want to clean your nose with it, that suggestion never came from me. You can use a screwdriver for leverage if you're having trouble lifting or moving something. Some also have a hexagonal shape handle that fits inside a wrench or spanner. You can use it to improve torque and, again, for leverage. A little easier on your hands. Some of us aren't that strong. Or maybe that's just me. Rubber bands are great for many things, but if you have a bottle that's hard to open, you can wrap the band around it for a better grip. Escalators have those fluffy black brushes for a similar reason that some have yellow lines on their steps. To try and deter people from getting too close to dangerous places. People don't always take notice, and sometimes clothing can drape close to a point where the step meets the edge or skirt. The brush is a little barrier to help prevent this from happening. They can also catch bits of fluff and prevent other small things from falling down into the gaps. Your average pair of jeans has several features that are both functional and somewhat sentimental. The metal rivets around the pockets help secure the stress points. This ensures they last a bit longer than average, though not all jeans have them. Many still have a tiny pocket directly above the main pocket. This was originally meant to hold a pocket watch. Even though pocket watches are mostly a thing of the past, many people still use this space to store coins, rings, or even a portable USB. Now, this may seem a little obvious, but if you've ever wondered what all the notches are in a car tire, it's for traction on the road. However, there are also a good indicator if your tire is getting too worn down. If those notches aren't so deep anymore and are almost flush with the road, it's time to replace them. If you don't, the next time you try to stop suddenly at a stop sign, you might be surprised to find your car has turned into a giant roller skate. Those takeaway containers most associated with Chinese restaurants are designed to not only carry your food home, but to store them in the fridge. They double as a plate, as you can eat straight out of them and don't have to worry about dirty dishes. Yay! They were actually patented way back in 1894 to transport freshly shucked oysters and were known as oyster pails. They were later adapted to use as leak-proof containers for food. While you're sitting on an airplane and looking out the window, you may have noticed those little holes, or in some instances, a small singular opening near the bottom. This is called a breather hole, and no, it's not for you. It's designed to equalize the difference in air pressure which builds up between the pressurized cabin and the atmosphere outside, especially during high altitudes. 
It also releases moisture from between the panes to avoid frost from forming on the windows and obstructing that all-important view. Sorry, but it looks like you won't be drawing a smiley face on it anytime soon. This was first introduced way back in 1956 by a company in Japan. Pretty cool, huh? They got their inspiration from snap-off rows on chocolate bars. Just don't get the two mixed up. One doesn't taste good. When it comes to measuring tape, almost every reel has an empty slot in the metallic end. This is called a nail grab, so you can attach it to a nail or screw. A handy trick to do measurements without requiring someone else to hold it in place. Ooh, very nifty. Bobby pins have grooves on one side to hold your hair in place better. Crazy notion, huh? The straight side goes face up while the grooves go down against your head. They're called bobby pins because of the bobbed hairstyle, which was popular in the 1920s, though the pins were invented in the 19th century. The look is gone, but the pins remain. Time you receive a package in your mail, take a look at your box cutter. If it features some diagonal lines on the blade, you're in for a little design perk. Turns out that these are blades that snap off. Continuously cutting cardboard can dull the sharp edge of the blade. To help prevent the need to buy a brand new box cutter, the top segment along the next line can be broken off to reach a new sharp edge. To do this, check out the small hole at the base of the tool, sometimes called the blade snapper. The people that first came up with this brilliant invention were engineers inspired by the way chocolate bars are segmented. Hold on a minute, don't throw away the cardboard package just yet. Most likely, you'll have some silica gel packets somewhere at the bottom of the box. Since this gel is basically a drawing tool, it gathers up the moisture out of its environment, so you can store these packets for further occasions. Whether you'll need to dry out your phone or some other electrical object, you can place them in a container next to the silica gel to reduce the damage. You don't have to be a mechanic to know when a standard car tire needs replacing, since they come equipped with a neat indicator. Take a closer look, and you'll see that treads within the tire are a bunch of rubber notches. When the treads are evened out with the perpendicular bars, it's a sign you need to book an appointment with your local car service. Since most likely the tires have lost most of their traction and may not be safe for driving any longer. The upper corners of a car windshield feature textured black dots melted into the glass edges. This neat add-on isn't there for design purposes. It's called frit glazing which means that a special type of ceramic paint is added to the window for protecting its sealant from UV rays. It also conceals and creates a coarser surface for the adhesive used to set the window in place. Whenever you're up for a drive, check out if there's a small tab under your car's rearview mirror. Bet you didn't know it's there to help switch the mirror from daytime to nighttime views. It uses a prismatic glass technology to blur the reflection and reduce the glare of headlights behind you in traffic. People came up with these manually tilted mirrors in the 1930s, but they became standard somewhere in the 1970s. While you're in the car, check out the headrests, as you most likely don't know that they carry a little disguised purpose. Of course, they're adjustable to accommodate passengers of any height so that they get the proper support for their heads and necks. The hidden feature is that they are detachable and come with two very solid metal bars. Should you ever find yourself stuck in a car and need to make a fast getaway, these bars come in handy to crack out the car windows. So you're out for a drive and you're suddenly out of gas. What I'm about to describe sounds more like a meme than an actual situation bound to happen. But what if you're in such a hurry that you accidentally drive off with the gas nozzle still in the tank? Well, the nozzles have been designed to prevent any hazards from happening, rest assured. They feature a breakaway device that will allow the hose to separate when taken out with enough force. Initially designed in the early 20th century to be worn exclusively by basketball players, sneakers soon became one of those fashion fundamentals similar to jeans and leather jackets. If you take a closer look at them, you'll see they have two extra holes on the side, similar to the shoelace holes. They're manufactured as such not only to provide extra ventilation, but to allow people to get extra creative with their laces when wearing the shoes. Admit it, you've always thought that chopsticks are merged at the end for the sole purpose of keeping them together until you're ready to dig into your meal. That may or may not be the whole truth. 
Under a more detailed inspection, the wooden tools feature a square-shaped end. Chopsticks manufactured like this date back to an old Japanese traditional design, which can help with breaking the ends easily. The separated end can then be used as a resting block for the chopsticks to keep it more sanitized in hopes it can be used again, since they won't be touching the table or any other surface. Women's bikes have a special design which, surprisingly, has a historical and fashionable purpose. The lower frame is for the most part meant to make up for the generally shorter height of ladies, compared to that of the average gentleman. While that is the case for handlebars and saddles, the overall frame is lower for an additional purpose. Way back when women wore long skirts and dresses all day, every day they needed to make sure their outfits wouldn't get caught in the frame. That's how we came up with a lower-framed bicycle, perfectly made for women and their needs at the time. The fact that toothpastes are multicolored is not just a nice perk to make dental hygiene more fun. There's a secret meaning related to each of the colors, which dates back to the 1970s. In those days, people grew more and more interested in their oral health care, and as such, they were looking for products which could do more than merely clean their teeth. One company was the pioneer in that regard, adding mouthwash to its toothpaste, meaning the blue strip. They later added on the red strip, meant to feature ingredients which helped with gum care. Speaking of toothpaste, check the cap next time you open a new tube. You may be in for a little surprise. There's a pointed cone shape inside the cap, so you can puncture the seal of the toothpaste without cutting yourself or ruining your manicure. Not to mention, it's more hygienic since you won't be able to transfer germs or other bacteria into the product itself. The expiration date on mineral water isn't about water going bad. Actually, no water can spoil, but the bottle can. Over time, it starts leaking some chemicals that aren't quite safe. The spike in the cap of a tube of ointment or cream is there so you can puncture the tiny foil seal. No need to grab a toothpick or try to use your fingernails to peel it off. Post-it notes are supposed to be peeled off from the side like you're turning the page in a book. Most of us tear them from the bottom and that just creates a crease and makes the whole note less sticky. To prevent water from boiling over, just lay a wooden spoon across the rim of the pot. It only works for a little while though. If the spoon's surface gets heated up to the boiling point, the bubbles will just foam up and around it. That's why metal spoons won't do, they heat up too quickly. Some erasers have two colors and textures, not for pen ink versus pencil lead, but for different types of paper. You're supposed to use the blue side to remove pencil marks from heavy grades of paper. Most people use bobby pins upside down. The zigzagged part goes closer to your scalp. The texture keeps the hair and pin in place much better. And give your pins a spritz of hairspray before putting them in. They'll grip better. Ever notice the tiny second hole in the lid of your coffee travel mug or to-go cup? It's there to control how smoothly the liquid flows out from the drink hole. Without it, the hot stuff would just glug out at you like milk from a jug. It also lets the steam escape so the high temperature and built-up pressure don't melt the lid or send it shooting off. You open a bag of chips and find it half empty, or half full if you're an optimist. Frustrating, I know. But I figured it's not because the manufacturer wants to get more cash out of you. The extra air helps to protect your chips from any damage. If the bags were filled to the brim, you'd get chip dust instead of chips after their transportation. A raspberry flavored ice pop is typically blue, not pink or red, which both would be more obvious color choices. Well, imagine you're making a pack of popsicles. You can pick green for apple flavor, pineapple or lemon is yellow. There's strawberry, so it should be red. Cherry, well, red again. Watermelon, red. And now raspberry, yeah, red. But four reds are definitely way too many and people won't tell the difference between them easily. So at first, both strawberry and cherry flavors were red, but of different shades. The watermelon one was pink. They made the raspberry ones of a deep dark red dye. Then, scientists proved that that dye might be dangerous, so it was banned. Blue was another free color option, but there's no blue fruit or berry except for blueberry. And it's not a very popular flavor, so manufacturers started to paint raspberry blue. Sometimes they call it blue raspberry, but it's just a lab thing that doesn't naturally exist. 
If you buy a clock or see a picture of it, it'll most likely show 1010 by default. The only reason behind it is that it just looks nice. You can see both hands, and they don't overlap. Also, it's symmetrical and nice, and it frames the 12. And finally, it makes a smiling shape that gives off a positive vibe. Mattresses usually have those decorative stitching patterns on them. Mattress manufacturers make a limited number of different mattresses, and the only way to make them look different is to come up with a fancy stitching pattern. Two mattresses of different companies might be the exact same quality, but cost differently. Most people will never know it and will decide that different patterns mean something in terms of quality. So, when shopping, don't mind the pattern at all. Cheese has holes. In most types, they're small, but they can also be huge. Cheese is made by adding bacteria to milk, and the holes are the result of it. Those bacteria consume lactic acid and release little gas bubbles. They're trapped in the cheese, and then they pop, forming those little holes. The size of holes depends on the production temperature and its acidity. Swiss cheese has extra large holes. It's made at a temperature of around 120 degrees Fahrenheit and incubated at 70 degrees Fahrenheit for 5 to 7 days. So the cheese is very soft and the bubbles grow especially big. All coins have ridges, but have you ever wondered why? At first, all coins were linked to a silver standard. The amount of silver used in a coin was proportionate to the value of the coin. So, a $1 coin had way more actual silver in it than, say, a quarter. The edges were made reeded for security reasons. Once, it was a coin element that made a coin harder to reciprocate. It also prevented another kind of fraud. People would shave off a bit of metal from the edges of coins. It would be just a little so that no one would notice the difference. But if you did it to many coins, you'd get enough precious metals to sell. Reeded edges made it impossible. If someone tried to shave them off, the ridge would become smooth, and it'd be obvious to anyone that a coin had been tampered with. Nickels and pennies didn't have them because they were made of inexpensive metals, so there was no sense in protecting them. Now, no one makes coins out of silver, but the ridges are still there. When the governments started to produce new coins, they didn't see a point in changing the coin-making equipment, and they just kept the reeded edges. If you ever played billiards, you must know that green table well. The game originated around the 14th century, five centuries before basketball. Back then, folks didn't have pool tables, of course. Instead, they were playing it outside on the green lawn. Later, people moved the game indoors so they could play it even when it was raining. And they kept the nostalgic green to give it some lawn vibes. Medical workers usually wear a uniform that is a shade of blue or green. There's a reason for it. Before the 20th century, they were wearing their regular clothes, even when performing surgery. With the development of medicine, people started to pay more attention to matters of sterileness, so they started to wear a uniform, and at first, it was white to signify purity. The problem was that some stains were very hard to wash off from the white uniform the color white would become greenish. So, it made sense to make the uniform green or blue. Besides, surgeons mostly focus on red colors during work. Blue and green are exactly the opposite side of the spectrum. So, if everything else is greenish blue, the red becomes even more distinctive. Wash your hands with plain white soap and you'll see some white foam. Wash them with a blue, red, yellow, green, whatever color, and the foam is still white. The reason for it is scattered light. Any light rays that falls on an object either get absorbed or are reflected back. Things that absorb all colors appear black. Those that reflect all colors are white. A red bar of soap is red because only the red color reflects back, and the other colors are absorbed. But once you produce some foam, it's made of many little bubbles. Each of them scatters light in different directions, so it looks white. Do you see something when you rub your eyes? These colors and shapes are called phosphenes. 
The reason why you see them is that when you're rubbing, you increase the pressure in the eyeball and activate the neurons of the retina that process visual information. Once they're activated, your brain interprets it as if you see the light and it tries to actually see it. Ever wondered why you have black circles around your eyes when you're tired? The skin under the eyes is very thin, so the blood vessels are very close to the surface and you can see any difference easily. When you lack sleep, your skin gets paler and the blood vessels are even more visible. So, you can see those dark circles showing through the skin. Also, with age, your skin naturally gets thinner, so that's why older people tend to have dark circles. But if you're young, try to get more sleep and they'll be gone. You say Germany, the Spanish say Alemania, and the Germans say Deutschland. And it sounds like three different countries, but it's just one. If someone's name is Olivia, she will be more or less of Olivia everywhere. So why do countries have different names in different languages? Countries have existed for a long time. Back when people from different countries couldn't communicate and spoke different languages, they'd refer to some territory the way they referred to it, never agreeing with other countries, and the name stuck. A German tribe called Alemanni once lived in what's now Switzerland. So I guess that's why the Spanish started to call the land Alemannia. Then the Germans were united and called themselves Deutschland. In English, the pronoun I is always capitalized. Even the linguists don't know for sure why it's so. At least yet. I comes from the German Ich. During the time it evolved from Ich to Ich and later to I. Some theorize that a little I appeared to be too insignificant in a sentence, standing on its own. So it started to be capitalized to be more distinctive. If you've ever seen a behind the scenes video, you might have noticed that they click that clapperboard before each scene. This clap helps a lot at the stage of editing. The film and the audio are recorded separately. And when they're synchronized, the clapperboard makes that brief clap at the very beginning of a shot scene. And it's easier to find where the scene starts to add the audio. Another reason is to give more details on the filmed piece. They add information about the scene and take number, the filming date, the camera angle, and other important stuff to the clapperboard that makes it easier to go through hundreds of video pieces later. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.